Well, good evening, uh, drivers and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, I wanted to open up on a song here. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in. Uh, it's uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. I was just looking at I was considering all the words here. It's one of the songs that we did during our uh, Sunday morning service last week. Uh, last, uh, last couple of weeks, I actually got to break a fast of singing that the Lord had me on for about a year. And it's just wonderful to be able to bless the Lord with song. And uh, it's, uh, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky. Lord, I lift your name on high. Brothers and sisters, we can meditate on all sorts of stuff and find God in it, but these things are pretty clear. Um, one of the things that I learned when when I used to sing, um, hi Tammy, <laughs> uh, one of the things I, I learned when I used to sing, or still do, uh, is that each song is like a little prayer and a meditation, and uh, we place those meditations in our heart. If you, uh, Let me turn this around here for a moment. If you get a chance to, read the description. It's not too lengthy, but uh, we're taking a different uh, change of course here this month, and uh, we're actually going to have some guest presenters um, bringing out just little bits of the word that we can sit and meditate on, uh, keeping it simple. But uh, once you meditate on the Word of God, and that's what today's focus is kind of about, once you meditate and consider the Word of God, it it starts to get depth. It's almost like there's meat in it just by chewing on it, drinking it, churning it, um, and just placing it inside of your heart. Uh, below in that description up top, there's a lot of other supporting scripture. I invite you to go in and read those uh, while you're there uh, when you have time. But take the scripture that we have uh, as our key verse, which is uh, Psalm 46.10. In the description, you'll see that uh, we're pretty much focusing on some of the Psalms. Uh, King David uh, wrote a lot of them, uh, but 4610 was not written by him. It was actually uh, written um, by some of the sons of Korah. And uh, we're going to start out, though, in the New Testament, and we've got a few readings, so uh, let's go to prayer to uh, God and ask him to bless this time together that we have, and, uh, and then we'll get into the Word together, okay? So, Father God, Lord, I just I thank you for the time that we get to share with you, uh, whether it's in your word, Lord, uh, there's nowhere we can go that you're not. Lord, help us to be ever mindful of you. Uh, Lord, uh, help us to lay aside our own understanding, Lord, trusting you with everything in our life. Uh, but for now, Lord, help us to uh, wrap our hearts around the, uh, the simplicity and complexity of who you are as you reveal yourself through your word. Uh, Lord, it's in these things that in our relationships and in our day-to-day -day life, we see everything come to light. Lord, we see your word actually open up in Scripture as, as each day goes forward. And so, Lord, help us to have a heart of meditation. Help us to have a heart of understanding. Lord, we lay aside our own understanding as we approach you, and we uh, want to glorify you, Lord, in this walk. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So we will turn to Scripture and... I have the first one. We're going to start off in the New Testament. We're in Philippians chapter 4. And in here, chapter 4, um, we've got these key verses here. Uh, I rejoice in the Lord greatly now that the last year care. Let's hold on a second. Where are we there? I'm a little too far ahead. Uh, 8 and 9. So 8 is actually the, it's kind of the, the midst of it here. Uh, and so what... Paul is saying in this particular letter is to think about certain things. And so we'll read the before and after of this, and we're just going to start up here in 6. He talks about, Paul says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Now, I'm kind of laying up something here for one of the next ones, which is going to be on prayer. Prayer and supplication. Keep that in your heart as you think about these things. 
uh, but prayer and meditation are, are very closely related. So be careful for nothing, and in everything, in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds, hearts and minds, through Christ Jesus. And here's kind of the nugget of it here. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Thinking on these things is akin to meditation. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen of me, that's Paul, do. Don't just hear it, be a doer of the word. And the God of peace shall be with you as you meditate, as you think upon these things, there's praise going through your heart. And we know that in the Old Testament it talks about God inhabiting the praises of Israel, which is his people in which we're grafted into. God inhabits our praise. And so when we're praising, meditating, praying about them, prayer and meditation, the peace of God will be with you. And so uh, we also know that in the Psalms it says, uh, Psalm 119, great peace have they which love thy law. But we're talking about meditation. And, of course, if there's uh, anything to do with the, the law, remember the law in the Hebrew is uh, the word is Torah, and it means the way. It means the directions. And so let's turn to the heart of Scripture right here in the Psalms. We're going to start off in Psalm 1. And we're just going to read the first few verses. And we're talking about the blessings, the blessings of the Psalms, of, of meditating. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. And here's the key. Well, this isn't our key verse that we're going to meditate on, but I don't want you to consider this as we go through. But his delight is in the, in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate. There's that word, day and night. He shall be, and it gives a promise here. It says, he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Now, of course, the last part of that is kind of the bad news of that. By not meditating on the word of God. By not considering the goodness of God. Later on, just a few chapters up, we have Psalm 8. And uh, this is kind of the... One that, uh, and I prayed about this before. That's Psalm 45. Let me go back up here. Let me mark that. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. That's our key verse. We're going to end on our key verse here. But in Psalm 8, and I prayed that the Lord would show me which ones would work the best here. And, and I think probably Psalm 8, because we go through Psalm 1 quite a bit. And it's a great one to put into your heart. But Psalm 8, we really get a good picture here. Right here, let's, so this is one of the things, I thought about making this our key verse, but I think Psalm uh, 146.10 is going to be the better one to hold on to. And it's right here in verse 3. We're going to get to that, we're going to do some of the before and after, but I'm going to read this right here. When I consider, when I consider thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, that's God. When, he, when David considers the work. When he considers thy, the heavens and the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? He starts right out, and this is once again a psalm of David. Starts right out with praise. O oh Lord, O oh our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that he art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him, the son of man? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Now, we see the beauty of the poetry here, but notice the depth the, this, the real meat that's right there in Psalm 8, just the first few verses there. 
I mean, you could just sit there and chew on that every day, all day long. Right here, three, it's one that just resonates in my heart. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast made, who am I that you are mindful of me? I mean, I just, I consider that. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And so there's so much in here. But let's, let's turn to our key verse, the one that we really ought to consider here. And that is Psalm 46, verse 10. This is one that you may have heard before. Right there. Be still and know that I'm God. That's what we do when we meditate. We're still and we know. Meditating is not just talking. It's really listening. It is the Shema. That's the Hebrew word for listening. It is the presence. We're resting in him. When we are in Jesus, Yeshua, we're resting in him. And we are still and we are to know. You just know. I know a lot of folks talk about an emotion or, or a feeling, but there is a knowing from being in the presence of God. Be still and know that I am God. We'll do the before and after. He maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in fire. And when he's already delivered us, he says, be still and know I am God. You know, brothers and sisters, he fights our battles for us. No matter what you're going through right now, God just wants you to be still and know. He's God. He will be exalted among the heathen. He will be exalted in the earth. In the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. That means to consider or meditate. Selah. Think about these things. But this is our focus first. Put this in your heart, would you? Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Just that part right there. It's not a whole lot. Now, let's see if I can turn this thing around or not. Maybe, maybe not. Brothers and sisters, i got to wipe the tears out of my eyes. You know, it's one of the nice things about meditating on the Word of God is that it moves you. It gives vision. It, it, it gives us epiphany. It changes us from the inside out. That's what meditating does. And that's why it's so important to meditate on it day and night. Don't be stopped by the big words or anything else like that, but just the simplicity and the beauty of who God is in his word. It's available to you. It's right there. And sometimes it's good even just to get with a, a group of other people and do meditations and devotions. Uh, that's what we're doing here. And that's what I'd like for you to take out this week. As we go through the month of November, this Thanksgiving period, we've got some special guests coming on. I put a description out on Church for Truckers. I'm going to go ahead and share those to some of the other groups that we have. Um, but uh, uh, I'm hoping that you'll be able to visit us. Some of them I'll be with. Some are going to be doing this solo, but we're still going to support them. So I invite you to be a part of that as we move forward to this month. And uh, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, uh, just think of all the goodness that God has done for us. And while you do that, go out there and be a blessing to somebody today, drivers. God bless. Bye.